Okay, good evening, everybody, and I want to welcome everybody to the traditional service of Christ Fellowship. Pastor Carrie Miller, and we have a, a guest uh, pastor today, and Keith Miller, Carrie's son, but a wonderful human being in his own right, who's going to share with us tonight, and that's great. But we're all going to have uh, uh, three hymns and uh, tonight, and uh, we're going to start off with a with a great uh, great hymn. We're marching to Zion. And that's not, the, the hymns, don't look at the hymns up on the board, they're not the right ones, but we're, gonna start with, we're marching to Zion on 524. <laughs> yesterday in honor of the Moore boy who passed away. I didn't realize he was 29 years old. Um, that, that kind of shook me up. I thought he was younger than that. But the, uh, it was comfortably filled in the sanctuary and uh, on a Saturday on a Mother's Day weekend, I thought that was quite a tribute. I'll guarantee if I passed away uh, last week, it wouldn't be that many years. I hope I'd have enough for Paul Bears, but anyway. You'd have, you'd have a few. We, we'd, uh, we'd go out of the street, we'd get yeah, some. Yeah, but I'm not complaining yeah, because, you know, to be absent from the body is present with the Lord. That's right. I'm going to be better off than anybody down here. So uh, we'll just take that for what it's worth, okay? But we do want to remember that family tonight. Uh, you know, the Moors have been such a pillar in this church, uh, the whole family, the, the daddy and the mother. Some of the people I first met when I came, and and I'll never forget the many times that uh, Mr. Moore, Senior, came by to see me when I was in the hospital. Show up on Sunday morning, and he always had a scripture, you know. And I'd say, "What's the scripture for today?" 
boy, and he always, from memory, you know, never had to look it up. It was always such a blessing and inspiration. And he said, I got to get back to church, you know. And I thought, now how many people would do that? A deacon, a layman in the church that cared about people and loved people like that. And I do want us to remember uh, what 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 was it this morning, Doris, in your class we mentioned? Uh, Julio. Yeah, Julio Roy. Many of you have not met him. He's a young man. He and his wife that came here from New Jersey. And you men that are going down to eat pizza at Mario's. Right. Oh, Julio. 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 Yeah. He's a good friend. Oh. The man that runs that restaurant right. is a good friend of the man I'm talking about. They've been such a blessing to the senior group in our church here recently. He meets me at the car every Sunday morning. He's waiting when I get to it. And he pushes me in the wheelchair, comes in here, gives everybody a bottle of water, you know. And he's been so gracious, and they were all shook up when Julio didn't show up this morning. And, uh, but I just learned tonight, before we pray, that uh, Steve Aker, my friend right over here, on the third row, behind Jim. Now, he, Steve usually sits back in the back, but he's moved up tonight. And he's sitting here, and uh, I called him earlier this evening, and he told me that his mother had been sick all week in the hospital at Homestead. And we really need to lift her up. Amen. She dropped her insurance like 30 years ago. No uh, hospital coverage. It's just a, you know, a, a thing that really touched my heart when Steve shared it. And I just want to lift her up and lift him up and his family and pray that God will meet all their needs and meet her needs and bless her, whatever that need may be tonight. And uh, I, anyone else, do we have anyone else tonight? Just specifically, God knows before we ask. Todd. Todd. We want to mention Todd, your son. This is a sister that lives where, Mary? In New York. New the York. sister that was at my son's wedding that you performed. Um, and one from the local courts. Well, we certainly will, honey. Praying for healing. Yes. Helen? A uh, friend's daughter, her name is Maria, has been in a detox. Let me talk to you about JC's house. You know those guys, Christian Recovery. Uh, no I insurance. want to get what? No insurance. Let me talk to you about. Let me give you the name of a guy to call up. It's Christian Recovery, and uh, you know if they can do it, they'll help her out or give her some suggestions. Let me. Okay. Yeah, the Lord wanted you to come tonight, see, so just to get that, yeah. meet that need. Amen. Uh, Keith, I want to say to you, you've heard me mention. Kendall over by the park, I mean the zoo, where I've spoken. Kendall Church sponsors one of the finest recovery groups I've ever been in. Russell's been over there and spoken. Calvary Kendall. Calvary Chapel, and I've uh, been there, and I, I think they do such a wonderful work. They always have such a large group at our annual conference, and uh, they've been such a blessing to me, and Alan and I became friends in my garage. When he told me about his salvation experience. And I've never forgotten that. Yes, Marina? Can we pray for my sister-in-law? Her name is Maruha, or Maria, as we call her. She's got colon cancer. 
Oh my. Mm. Battalion. Yes, Battalion. Uh, Miami Dade Officer uh, Major Carter was involved in a major car accident uh, in which blew a ride on a motorcycle and the were involved in an accident. I'm praying for the family. And another officer, Officer Palacios, Miami Officer, was also involved in an accident. Okay, buddy. Yes, sir. Good evening. I just want to thank you all for your prayers. My daughter had a beautiful baby boy. Wow. Yeah, two oh, weeks wonderful. ago, and so everything's good. That's great. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Congratulations yeah, on the new grandchild. Yes, sir. Grandma. I'm a grandma. That's great. <laughs> grandpa. Okay. Thank you for your prayers. That's one of the most faithful ladies right there. She's here every Sunday night. And... Uh, I'm going to pray that you, she listens to you when you tell her how to properly raise that child. <laughs> you know how they are, you know? Now we just got to get her out of the way so you can take over. There you oh, go. Man. Okay. Uh, Russell, the Lord's heard all these needs tonight. Anyone else? I, I have. Unspoken for me and uh, travel mercies for my family. Uh, Lord, you know. For your family. Okay, Moses, it's sure good to have you here tonight. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I got you. You lead us in prayer. No, right? I'm. I'm. Uh, I've got a prayer request. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm. I'm. Uh, as a matter of fact, I won't be here next Sunday because I am traveling to New Orleans, and then I'm. I'm speaking. I'm doing a an event. Uh, in Monroe, Louisiana. Monroe. Yeah. Never Monroe, been there before. Right. Never been there before, and I think it's Duck Dynasty. Those guys will show up. They're gonna, I'm trying to grow the beard long and the hair long for them. You know what I mean? So you'll fit you in know, the crowd, and, right? You know, and, Stuff some crawfish in my mouth or something, whatever they're doing over there. So, uh, so I just want to uh, prayers that uh, you bet the Lord gives me the proper message to say to them in their receiving. And let message. me just say, you know, we're we're not on right now, so I w I want to say how grateful I am that we have the freedom and the love for each other to share this very special time. You know, I've said it to many people. This is the only worship service that a lot of our attenders attend. The only opportunity they have to come and worship, to hear a sermon, sing the old hymns. And I just thank God for it. Now, there are a lot of people best that I know tonight. I got on the phone trying to remind you all because I know it's Mother's Day. And while I was calling, somebody texted me and said, are you having service tonight? I have no idea who it was. And maybe in this room. But the blessing to me was that to somebody, I tell you, when we don't have service, we, we miss an opportunity. And I hope if that person's here tonight, I'm certainly grateful that you're a part of our service. Now let's pray. Father, we come to you with earnest hearts tonight as we pray for our friends who have made these requests. Lord, you've heard each one. We don't need to call their name. You know who they are. You've already heard, and we know, Lord, that you're already interceding at the right hand of the Father. We know that you ever live to make intercession for your people, and we praise you for that promise and that provision. And, Lord, we love you for the power of your presence that comforts us and strengthens us in our hours of need. And, Lord, I pray, especially pray for Steve and his mother, Lord, tonight that you'll just reach down that your mercy and your love and the, and the, uh, the mercy that you expressed all through history, Lord, in the Word of God, all through the Old and New Testament, and even when you were here on earth walking among us, when you became man and dwelt among us, we know how merciful you were to those who were in need. And, Lord, it's that same mercy we pray for tonight. We pray, Lord, that you'll look down with your eternal love and magnify the healing work in the lives of these people we've mentioned. We thank you for this testimony about this new baby and the mother that they're all well and good. We pray for this uh, dear girl that uh, Alan mentioned a moment ago. Lord, whatever the need is there, we know you can more than supply every need. And Lord, we, we thank you for what Paul said to the Philippians when he gave his own testimony about how God had met his needs. Then he said, my God shall supply all of your needs according to his riches in glory. 
And Lord, that's what we pray for tonight. We need those answers to prayer for most of the unspoken requests. And all these others who've been mentioned, the one that that uh, was mentioned in the motorcycle accident. Father, we, we just lift them all up to you tonight and know that you've heard us, that you're here to help us and to heal. And we praise you and thank you in Jesus' precious name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Pastor. And uh, next hymn is 310. 310. Out of my bondage, sorrow, and night. Yes.
gospel message and the message and the message of your finished work on the cross. We ask you that this be done, and we thank you once again for allowing us to be here and giving us the privilege of contributing. In Jesus' name, Amen. Before the message it was actually one picked up by Pauline because it's an honor of Mother's Day and we pray and praise all the mothers here today and we pray that every one of their children finds salvation and uh, but I'm not sure I she tells me I know the song I probably will but I really don't I don't think so so Dawn has volunteered you you did volunteer actually I'd like to get Dawn and Mo Moats up here you know, to do it, you know? Uh, she, most the same, absolutely not under no circumstances. Now, what, what page is that song on? 505. 505. Okay. And then we're... Invitation song tonight will be one of Doris's favorite, Jesus Paid It All. And uh, so we're going to sing that. And I'm going to I'm going to turn it over to Pastor Karen Miller because you're going to introduce your son, aren't you? Thank you, buddy. Okay, well, thank you very much, Pastor. You know, it's my privilege tonight for those who haven't met my son and daughter-in-law. Now, you know their last name, right? <laughs> Keith and Sherry. Keith and Sherry are here from Colorado. 